beautiful. My name is Cassie Causey and I'm so glad that you are tuning in to today's episode. I am really excited about this one and I'm so stoked that I'm going to be able to share with you a few different ways that you can improve your engagement on your social media content. So many people struggle with this and they are just confused at what it is that they're doing wrong or what can they do different to improve their engagement. I'm going to be sharing with you what you can do that's going to draw audiences to come running at you with every time that you drop something new on your post. With every episode of True Colors by Cassie TV, I like to give you guys a free powerful resource and today it is five powerful headlines that you can implement today. Go ahead and click the link below this video and you can download this right now and what it is, it is five different powerful headlines that you can implement that is going to have people running to your content immediately. It's all about the wording and how you create the phrases and the content that you are posting. I'm also going to give you guys my magic formula when you guys are creating and posting new content. So I hope that you enjoy this and take value from it and make sure that you grab your free content today. Okay, so tip number one is knowing your audience, determine your audience. So so many people jump right into sharing content and they don't even know their audience. They don't know who they are trying to uh, respond to or gain the audience from. And this is a really easy one. I actually have a simple method that you guys can use on Facebook in determining who it is that you're trying to attract and find out where they're hanging out at. So first you got to figure out who it is that you're trying to attract and then you got to market to them, right? So first, find out where they're hanging out at in Facebook. And I'm going to show you a quick way on how you can do that. And keep watching in just a second. Okay, you guys. So I'm going to share a little tip with you where you can find your audience and where they're hanging out at. So if you are, if you have a business page and you've ever done an ad, um, this is where you can find it. If you've never done an ad, you can um, select to initiate an ad or boost an ad. But you don't have to to do this. You can stop it right immediately. But you'll go over here and drop this down and click manage ads, and it's going to take you to your your business manager and what you're going to want to do is you're going to drop this down under your Facebook ads here. You're going to go to all tools. This is a little resource that not many people know about but I actually love it. You're going to find audience insights and in audience insights you're going to be able to identify your audience. You want to select everyone on Facebook and what you can do is I always select um, United States. You can actually select your age um, range. I uh, usually go 20 to uh, maybe 55, just depend, depending on the audience that you're looking for. Um, I like to, my audience is women generally. And then you can select your industry um, or your interest. So for me, I'm in the beauty industry, so I'm going to select beauty. And then you can add other interests as well. So what you can do from here is you can select um, anything that they might be interested in, uh, other things like that. Um, think where, where they're shopping at, pages that they like. And what's going to happen is um, you can come over here to pages that they like. And based off of the interest that you've added in there, Facebook is going to go and look for these people that follow that fall within this criteria and find them. So for example, I just I just added beauty, but I could add other things in here as well if I wanted to be more specific. Um, right here, there are a lot of people that are interested in ultra beauty. This is a page that they follow. So if I go into ultra beauty, what I can do then is I can see um, what Ultra Beauty is posting and I can um, identify what it is that the audience that's with Ultra Beauty is really interested in. So I might spend a little bit of time in here just looking at some of the things that they're posting and what it is uh, where they're getting the most engagement at. And so like this one, there were 551 engagements here, 74 comments, and it had to do with some new palettes. Um, right here, it talks about 
rejuvenation and it had different products in here but it had an article on rejuvenation so I might go check out that article and kind of see what is really um, all the hype about so this is a really great tool to use if you're wanting to understand a little more about what it is that your audience is looking for and then don't copy what they're doing but it's just a good way of giving you some ideas of what you can post about um, with some of your content. So tip number two you guys is appeal to your audience so now that you know who your audience is, you want to make sure that you are giving them something of value. But not only that, you guys, please do not have anything negative that you are sharing. There is enough of that in the world. We do not need to be sharing that with our audience. You guys, stay positive. Share valuable content. Make sure that you are appealing to your audience so that it is something that they are going to be wanting to click on and stop and See what you have to provide to them and get more information on, right? So tip number three, keep it short, you guys, especially if you're on Facebook. So when people are scrolling through Facebook, you want to make sure you have a great image or a video that's going to grab their attention really quick. But the commentary that you're adding, you want to make sure that it's short so it's not a long, drawn-out story. You don't like to read those, so why would your audience like to read those? If you guys have something more to say, direct them to your blog or your website. And I do talk more about how to do that in my training that I provide. But create a catchy and alluring title or headline. And you guys, I teach you guys how to do that in my free giveaway. So make sure that you keep it short, interesting and grabs their attention. Number four, you guys, I talk about this all the time and I feel like this is where a lot of people make a big mistake or they fail to realize how important it is and it is branding yourself. It is so important to brand yourself and not the company that you're with because when you are branding yourself, you're building more credibility and loyalty from your audience and your clients, which means when you share content and, you're brand and it's branded for you, then they're going to be more interested in knowing what it is that you have to say. So make sure you brand yourself. And you guys, it's easier to do this when you have your own branded website instead of directing people to your distributed company website because that belongs to you and you control that. And it's also something that nobody else can take away from you. So it's always so important to brand yourself so that when you do share something, people are going to be jumping at it and running towards it because they know it came from you and that it has something of value. Number five, create curiosity. I can't talk about this enough. So many people, I see them just giving out the how. So often they're just posting a picture of a product or they're posting out the outcome. You guys create curiosity. Leave your audience wanting more, wanting more information on how it is you do or get the results of whatever it is you've got the results from. Give them the what and then let them click your content to understand the how you got the what. For example, you know, if I have um, created this amazing uh, makeup look, I post the what of the look. This is what you may want, but how I got there is what they're going to click on to figure out how I created that look. If you guys have a product, um, like a weight loss product, you can do the same thing. I may post a picture, but I'm not posting what the actual product is. Like I'm going to grab, this is the product, and I'm going to cover up what the actual product name is. And I'm going to post a picture of me drinking it, and it's like liposuction in a bottle. People don't know what it is, but they're going to want to know more information on how you lost 10 pounds on drinking this product um, once a day or whatever it is. So they're going to cr uh, click on your picture or your post to learn more information on how you did that. Creating curiosity, you guys, we are curious um, creatures by nature. Uh, it's not just cats. You know, we humans are also very curious. So create curiosity with your post. Get a little creative with whatever it is you're posting and create that curiosity so your audience is going to be more apt to click on whatever it is you're posting to get more information on however it is. You did whatever it is you did. This is tip number six. 
creating a call to action. A C to A, baby. A C to A. So you have got to tell your audience whatever it is you want them to do. What is the next step that you want them, them to do with the post that you created? Where do you want them to go? If you want them to send you a message, tell them to send you a message for more information. Whatever it is, create that call to action. Tell them what you want them to do so they know whatever it is you want them to do. It's a call to action, baby. That's how you do it. I always like to create a curiosity post. And I'll say, if you want to know more information on whatever it is I'm using that's getting these amazing results, drop your favorite emoji in the comments and I'm going to send you a personal message. So I'm telling them what to do. I'm creating curiosity. People are interested, so they're going to drop their favorite emoji or a comment in the post. I'm going to reply. That's going to increase my Facebook algorithms. And then I'm going to send them a message to create a personal relationship with this person. And then we're going to talk more about what it is that I'm doing and get more information on what, it, what they're needing, understand their needs before I actually offer the product to them. Number seven, creating an alluring title. You're in luck because I'm giving you my free download on five powerful headlines that is going to help you with this. But you need to create an alluring or mesmerizing uh, topic that's going to grab your audience's attention to make them want to read more. So your image or your video is going to capture their attention, but what's going to make them want to read more is going to be your your commentary, your comments, your title, your headline, and that is what, what is going to generate their interest to want to engage more in your post. A really good example is if this post says how to attract engaging audiences, it may intrigue your interest just a little bit, but by using some of the powerful words that really draw people in, and you add a little more such as how to engage your audience that will have them running to your content, then it's going to play a little more into their emotions and want them to see what exactly you have to say. And we are at tip number eight, you guys. So as you're starting to draw more people in, you've learned some of my tips and techniques. Now we're at number eight, and it is to not ignore your audience. So here's the simple thing. As people start to engage in your post and they, they start to comment, you guys simply reply to their comments. So many people make the mistake and they just ignore their audience's comments. They are commenting for a reason. Let them know that you feel like they are important to you because you simply wouldn't be here if it were not for them. So as your audience replies or comments to your post, Give them a reply back. Let them know that you're excited that they're here, that they are commenting and engaging in your post. And then, you guys, a little secret is after you reply to their comment, take the conversation into Messenger. The secret is in Messenger. Build upon that conversation. Start that rapport with your clientele and build that relationship with that audience. Sometimes a simple comment like, Thank you so much for commenting on my post. I'm so glad that you took value from it. What did you like most about it in Messenger can lead into so much more. You're going to learn more about that client and it can potentially lead into a sale or an opportunity. So at the end, you guys, so tip number nine is to have fun. People get on Facebook not to be sold to, you guys. Really? We just want to have fun and we want to be entertained. So give your audience what they want. Add a little flair to it. Get creative with your content. You know, do something like have quizzes every now and then. Have little games. Be intuitive. You know, do something out of your norm to kind of throw your audiences off a little bit and give them something a little fun that they aren't expecting. The most important thing is to be you and be genuine with your content. People are attracted to you, and so don't take yourself out of it. So just have a little fun with whatever it is you're doing, and give your audiences what they expect from you. And the final tip is to share valuable content. So we already touched on this just a little bit. Don't be salesy, and don't be 
spammy with whatever it is that you're sharing. So, so many people just share product pictures and just share the opportunity of their kit to get started. And instead, you guys, share something that's going to be valuable to your audience. So let's just say, for example, that your company is in the health industry and that you have something amazing for your audience. And maybe it is a product that helps them to be more healthy and maybe even lose weight. So instead of just sharing a product picture, why don't you share something about five ways to lose five pounds in a week and maybe it is to, out of those five ways, it is drinking more water, eating healthier, and one of the five ways is introducing your product into their lifestyle. So sharing something of value with your client is going to draw more interest, it's going to make you more credible, it's going to build your brand, and it's going to build trust in your clientele. So think about what it is that you can offer your clients that's going to help them solve their problem instead of just trying to be salesy and spammy with all of your content have it you guys 10 ways that you can grow your engagement on your Facebook post simply by just changing a couple of things it's all in how you share your content what it is that you're doing and providing value you guys I do hope that you took a little bit of value from this and if you did feel free to share this with your friends and you can always find me every Monday I provide a new episode right here on True Colors by Cassie TV I always provide a free powerful resource for you to download for yourself don't forget to, to download today's free resource um, it is five powerful headlines that's going to help you with your post when you're providing those and you can always find me on Facebook live every Tuesday for Talk Tuesday. Thank you guys so much for joining me on today's episode. I hope you loved what you saw and I will catch you next time. Bye!